what is going on friends, we are back with more World Cup, we got Tricking playing for Team Italy and his opponent is called K12 The Matching, he's playing for Team Spain and the first thing that you see is, we see this thing here, Masquerain, which is probably gonna be packing sticky webs, he has like offensive team, so that's for speed control, um, I'm really interested to see what this thing can do potentially, they're both a thunderous which is really interesting, and yeah, we'll just get straight into it, I missed the first turn where he went for extra sensory, brought down the Terrakin into the Sash, Terrakin just went for close combat, maybe predicting some hazard. I assume this might have been Rock's Terrak, because like, yeah, it's like his only Rocker, and he was focused Sash. So the Greninja is just potentially gonna switch it up, turn 2, just go for some attacking move, we will see. I recorded this uh, yesterday, but I didn't really pay attention, I was super tired when it happened. Oh yeah, here I rewatched the first turn. And yet yeah, the score before this was 4-3 for Team uh, Spain, so if Spain wins again, I think they're up 5-3. And, and then the, the two games after this, if Spain wins this one, Italy has to win them both to bring it to a tiebreaker. But people see what happens. Yeah, Greninja is obviously fast, uh, it's not Scarf Terrak, it was Sash. I don't know if he wants to keep his Sash Terrak. To potentially get up rocks later, but he decides to sack it because... Um, yeah, he didn't really have good switches to Ninja, that makes sense. So he can go out if he's like... A scarf, he can go out in a Scarf Mon. I'm not sure if he's gonna be Scarf Masquerade. Like, I was... I would have expected him to like maybe lead with Masquerade and be like... Focus Sash or something like that. He goes out in the Masquerade and it's shiny, there it is. And I think Greninja naturally outspeeds this, but if it's fast, the ma uh, Masquerade might be faster. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> he goes for Scarf, Sticky Webs, and that actually didn't do much to Dark Pulse. I don't know if he's gonna be packing. I don't know if he's gonna be packing uh, a good amount of HP investment, or if Masquerade really has just good speed death. I have never seen this mod, I haven't checked the stats or anything. But yeah, we see it's Scarf, so he's gonna save it because he's locked into Sticky Webs. What is he gonna go out into now? You cannot really go on the Alakazam, that's too risky. Oh yeah, I hovered over it here and I saw Greninja is faster because I wasn't sure which one is faster. <laughs> like, I just wanted to make 100% sure that he's Scarf, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I mean... He could stay in a Sarkis Masquerade, but I think it still has like some value for later on. Like, it should outspeed most of Tricking's team. Especially with the sticky webs up, it can it outspeeds the, outspeeds the entire team. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, I assume it's gonna be a default move from Tricking side. Obviously, Mega Medicham. Probably Scarf Garchomp. Not sure if he's gonna be packing Scarf Rocks, but he decides to keep it going on the top of Lily. But if this is not Scarf Lily, the Greninja outspeeds it. And. Depending on Greninja's coverage, it might be able to kill it. If he has Gunk Shot, he can kill it. But I don't think there's a special move that can kill the type of Lele from this range. Uh, the, the nickname is kind of funny. <laughs> Market Lele. It's like, like, this, it's like a soccer player, right? It's a French soccer player. I might be wrong here. <laughs> but I, I know that name from somewhere. But he's pretty confident that he can live any hit from the Greninja. I'm pretty sure Gangshot would still kill even with the attack draw, but he probably doesn't have it. He should extra sensory and dark pulse. I assume he's gonna be packing uh, potentially spikes. And I think he's expert, but I don't know if I mentioned that yet because we don't see we haven't seen live or recall. And I don't think he's gonna be Sash Grin. But yeah, if he has Hmm. Depends on the Lily set. If he's like specs the Mew cannot really switch in there well. What would you go out into here if you're tricking? I mean, if you predict the Moonblast and you think the Lily is like choice, you go into Heatran. He doubles back in the Masquerade. Uh, okay, that makes sense too, because he can live a hit. And he outspeeds the Grin, as we saw. I don't know if he would have been able to live a Gunk. Yeah, probably would have been able to live a Gunk Shot because of the extra Intimidate. So I guess he scouted for a Gunk Shot. At first, I thought he would stay in with the Lily and he was like confident that he can take any hit. But yeah, Masquerade, I don't know what it carries. Did it, does it carry like bug bars? What's even its typing? Is it bug and water or is it bug and flying? Oh, they just dated it for me. 
It's bug and flying, okay. So I assume it's gonna be bug, boss, air slash, and I know it also gets hydro pump. But the thing is, four times we do rocks, I just realized. It's no wonder it's NU. When you go to Sheet, you're expecting a bug boss or air slash gets it right, there's absolutely nothing. I think it also runs hydro pump. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So Hedron might go for a Magma Storm here, or... I mean, it could also be Rock Strand, but... For some reason, I think he's Rock Strand. I don't know if I, like, remember a turn where he went for Rocks yesterday, because I just saw some turns of this game. I didn't see the entire game. Yeah, he throws up Rocks with the turn, okay. Not, for some reason, I thought he had him on Chomp. And the Alakazam comes out. Psychic Terrain boosted Psychic is, like, impossible to switch into. Like, if so, if... Like he can run like a Kalk. And if Focus Blast doesn't Oko Max HP Heatran, he can just go for Psychic first. He goes for Shadow Ball, okay. So he did predict the Mew, I assume. Yeah, he did predict the Mew. And he has Roar Tran, which is like to prevent setup. Also makes me think that he could have Spikes on Greninja, because Spikes plus Rocks, and then Roar, the opposing team around face, the opposing team around would get good damage. Good damage off. Yeah, this might have Focus Blast, which is why he switches out, but he just goes for T-Bolt. Tricking brings in his own Thunderous, is obviously immune to that with the uh, Volt Absorb. Um, I'm really thinking this is Z-Move, Thunderous, and the Garchomp is Scarf. Like I could see Nasty Plot Z-Move. Oh, wow, Z-Move on the other side too. Oh, no, not Z-Move, it's Nasty Plot on the other side, Agility on this side. Are they both Double Dance? Yeah, Malakis still has to play after this, depending on how the next two games go. This game and I think the ADV game is after this. I mean, I assume this. Yeah, I was about to say. I assume the Z move is gonna be Gigavolt Havoc, so there's no way he's gonna be go for. They are able to go for Z moves. Hidden Power Ice just Oko's because it was a plus two, and he also got <laughs> he also got a Mago Berry that gave him 50% of his health back, and he could eat up he could eat up the Hidden Power Ice from Tricking Thunderous because yeah, Tricking decided to LG Lee first because he wanted the speed and. His opponent decided I want a special attack because if I can kill, like he obviously knew that he had the Mago Barrel tricking, didn't know that. So he knew he would uh, be able to live a hit unless he went, uh, unless tricking also went for Nasty Plot. And then if he kills the Thunders from tricking, he basically outspeeds everything besides maybe Scarf Chomp. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think Thunders is. How fast is Thunders again? I think Garchomp is. F yeah, I think Garchomp outspeeds it. So if the Garchomp is Scarf, it should be faster, but everything else would have been slower. I think it's 101 base speed, uh, Thunderous Therian form. So he might go for Stone Edge or... I don't know if Dragon Claw kills. I can't really run Kalks because I'm re I'm narrating over this recording that I did yesterday. Is <laughs> Masquerade going to have 100% win rate in this World Cup? Sacks of the Masquerade, oh well. I wanted to put it in the thumbnail, but it didn't do much work. I'll probably put it anyway. He had Rock Tomb, this is really weird. Because I, I know it lowers speed, but like it doesn't kill Volcarona through Charlie Berry anyway. So I guess it's... I think it's more accurate than Stone Edge and it, it would lower Volcarona's speed, so if you don't kill it with Charlie Berry, someone like a Pokemon could come in after and potentially outspeed Volcarona. But it still runs Stone Edge probably. I mean it's not only for Volcarona, it's also for like other mons. Like the speed control come can come in handy. I can see that for opposing Scarfers. 
in some scenarios. But yeah, Tapu Lele, even if the Chomper is fast of its Scarf, it, Tapu Lele can obviously easily live uh, a Rock Tomb. Now, not easily, but it should be able to live one, right? It goes for Psy Shock, and the Mew eats it up. So I don't know if Tricky wants to defog because yeah the webs are annoying but he has rocks on the opposing side too that he would defog. And chip damage is definitely nice for him. Yeah I'm thinking the Lele might be Scarf but 31 is actually good damage. Maybe this Mew is more like in speed invested and not that much in fist death because 31 if this is like if it's this if it's just scarf lele that seems like a, a good amount of damage to me. I guess he can go for Will Wisp. Um, but if if the Alakazam comes out, Will Wisp might not be the play because you then get then you get synchronized burned. So you might just go for his attacking move or for a soft bolt here with the Mew. Depending on the roll, he's obviously gonna calc if that's like scarf damage. Uh, the thing is, you never know 100% of it scarves because even if it does scarf damage, he could also be another item that's not damage boosting. He is, yeah, he's potentially Shed Shell. He tries to defog, he gets taunted. So he wants to get rid of the of the webs. So stuff like Runinja out speeds the Sunderers. So that um, Scarf Gatcham out speeds the Mega Zam. As he we see his uh, attacking move is Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm thinking he's Ice Beam with enough speed to outspeed um, Zygarde. He's gonna save the Mew and go to Heatran. Um, I guess maybe the, the Taunt caught him off guard. He wanted to get a Defog off and it didn't work. This should not. I don't think this will have um, Focus Blast. Wait, it showed Taunt, Moonblast, it showed Taunt and Psyshock, so it will have Moonblast. And I think the last move is him Power Fire, yeah. So it should not be able to touch the Heatran. So the Heatran can just go for like a fire. Not the th the reason why he wouldn't go why I wouldn't go for fire move is the Mega Alakazam will trace fl trace flash fire if it switches in. So I might go for Roar here or for Toxic. Depending on his set, I don't know his entire moveset. Toxic is an option, definitely. Yeah, I don't think the Lily is staying in. It can still put in some work later on. It can prevent Medicham from going for fake out. It can taunt the Mew, prevent it from healing, and okay, just gets damage off on the Heatran. He does go for Blower Plume, so maybe his opponent predicted tricking to not go for that because he has the Mega Alakazam that can trace Flash Fire in the back. But he's gonna go Thunderous or Zam. I thought he would go Sunrise because I wasn't sure if Zem has a move that is accurate, like that can kill the Heatran. I'm pretty sure that Shadow Ball won't kill. So he maybe he has to rely on a Focus Blast. I don't think Zem gets any move that kills Tran from this range other than Focus Blast or like Hidden Power Ground, but they, they don't run that. I mean, if he's modest, then I don't. I think even if he's modest, I don't think Shadow Ball can kill this. Yeah, he did trace the flash fire. So if Tricking stays in, what is he gonna go for? Toxic? Yes, he does focus blast misses. That's what I'm talking about. There's the raw. Okay, so he didn't have anything to touch. There's like the, the, the them, but that's what I was talking about. I thought he would go into something that can touch the trend with a move that is 100% accurate. Because we all know focus blast isn't reliable. Yeah, the rocks help him with the Sunday. I think we might just go for T Bolt here and 2 hit KO the Citron because like, the Citron is getting really annoying. And he showed Hidden Power Ice and T Bolt and um, his Berry, and I think he also showed Nasty Plot. So I assume his last move. It's either Agility, a Focus Blast, or I don't know what his last move could be. It might be Agility, but he has Sticky Web support, so it's already kind of fast with this. He Nasty Plotted up. So that makes sense, and. If he could lift that, but he can. What? Okay, that was weird. Why didn't he just go for T-Bolt? I don't understand what's going on. I thought he had it all calculated and he could lift that. I wanted to say that makes sense if he can lift that, and then now I looked like a fool because he died. Yeah, 
Yeah, if my narration isn't the best today, it's like... Um, yeah, I was up like 30 hours yesterday and I caught all the games for you guys, but yeah, I have to re-narrate over this, as I said. Because I was too tired yesterday in the evening, or in the night, whenever this happened. And yeah, I'm kind of like, I don't want to say burned out, but I recorded so many games that... Yeah, I, I, need, I need like a break from Pokemon for like a day or two. So I'll record the two more games that I had yesterday, and after that... I'll um, I'll not record any other games unless there's like a hype live game. I know that tomorrow there's um, a game that I will talk about later. I don't want to spoil anything. But he has to go for Focus Blast again. I don't. Oh, here's Encore. Well, so Encore is really nice because he was uh, he went for Lava Plume and the Sandra, so you can lock him into you can lock him into that, and he is immune to it because of Tracing Flash Fire. He goes Gren on the Shadow Ball, so he's just sacking his Gren. Because Dalekism obviously outspeeds it. I also don't think he's going to be packing a random water shuriken on this Protein Greninja. So he's either going to go to Mew or to... Um, Garchomp. Medici might be able to live a hit from full, but I don't think that's the play. So he goes into Mew and... We saw this Mew as um, Ice Beam. So it's probably going to be Roost. Uh, Will-O-Wisp, Defog. So it's interesting to see he decides to go for Defog here, if I recall correctly, yeah. Then he says something in Italian in the chat and I have no idea what this means. But yeah, now... He basically sacked the Mew to get rid of the sticky webs, which means the Scarf Chomp now it speeds everything. Yeah, if it was Modest Alakazam, it probably would have killed the Mew. So Bengay said, or Crane said in the chat, why isn't it Modest Zam? Because if he has Sticky Web support, it would have it would make sense to run Modest Zam, I guess. Because you outspeed even all the Scarf is probably with web support, at least that are the ones that are on the ground. You don't outspeed stuff like Scarf Lottie because that has Levitate and doesn't get affected by webs. But yeah, the Mimikyu's um, disguise is going to get popped here, and he's going to be... I think the uh, Garchomp can't awkward the Mimikyu from full, so he might even go for SD. Oh, this might also come down to some 50-50s between um, him wasting the Z move. Like, if, if like tricking ha go if goes into Heatran afterwards, after he broke the disguise, and Heatran can maybe live a hit. And the uh, Mimikyu gets in range from Heatran. He might, p Tricking might ha um, sack the Medicham then to try and waste the Z-move because the Heatran can probably live a plus 2 Shadow Claw but it cannot live his potential Z-move so this is going to be interesting to see how this plays out. So I assume he just goes for SD here, right? Because he has to boost up to kill everything in one hit like the Heatran and stuff like that. And the Guard Jump is fast so I'm pretty sure like obviously Shadow Sneak and Oko. Um, so I think Tricking's best move to hit this Mimikyu with Guard Jump is uh, EQ anyways. Like even if he switches out and comes back in later. Like he can't outrage it. Because it's a fairy type. Um, does he have anything else? Nah, even Poison Jab would be neutral. And Scarf Jump also doesn't really run Poison Jab. So he's just going to go for Earthquake and get damage off, I think. And I think that he's going to go for Play Rough here. To pick off the Guard Jump. We see it does 80, so that is a lot. So yeah, this is the 50-50 that I was talking about earlier. If he goes out in the heat run here... And then he switches out into Medicham and the Z-move gets wasted. Then Heatron can live a hit probably. Like Heatron can probably live the hit if the Z-move gets wasted. But the thing is if he... Um, if his opponent breaks that and doesn't go for Z-move... Like it's just a 50-50, I don't think... There's like a clear best play here. Because you could also go Heatron hard. You could go hard Heatron and stay in expecting him to not go for the Z-move because the sack of the Medicham is so obvious. I think you just go Heatron first. Unless he has Bullet Punch or Medicham, but Medicham probably dies to... Now nah, Medicham dies to Shadow Sneak. So I don't think Bullet Punch or Medicham matters. Unless the uh, Medicham is Jolly and the Mimikyu is... 
And now I guess the manager might be faster, yeah. I was thinking for some reason that Miki is faster because webs, but webs get defogged. So if the manager is jolly and has bullet punch, he could have gone to that. But he would have sent it out already. Like, if his manager was jolly and had bullet punch, he would have sent it out ages ago. He wouldn't be thinking so long. I mean, it's... It's it's not like you just go Heatran here, right? And then you hope that he wastes the Z move and sack the Medicham, or you stay in and hope that he doesn't go for Z move. Like it's just the 50-50 type of thing here. But I think you send out the Heatran first. I don't think there's a point in sending because if you send out the Medicham first, he can just go for Shadow Sneak and kill you, right? Because he probably doesn't have Bullet Punch because he took so long to send. Shadow Sneak should kill, right? There's the Shadow Sneak, it does kill. And well, now he can just go for Z-Move and win the game if he has the Z-Move. Because we didn't see Life Orb, we didn't see... He saw the um, Thunderous on his team was like Thunberry. And I assume the type of Lily might have been Shadow Shell. There's the Z-Move and... Tricking does lose this game, which means Italy is in the back. 5 and 3 now. So they have to win the next game, which is... Um, I think ADV. And if they win that game, the last game is going to be... Um, Malekith versus... I forgot who Malekith is playing, but I, I can tell you guys, they, they did win the DB, they did win the ADV game. So then after that the score was 5 and 4 for Team Spain. So it came down to the last game, which is Malekith versus some other guy. And I recorded that game live too, so it's basically 5-4, it's action. I think Malekith is captain of Spain, right? I'm not 100% sure, but it's basically gonna be a fire game. I don't really understand why Tricking didn't go in Heatran first and forced the 50 50. Um, not sure. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will upload the, the game that will decide if there is a tiebreaker between Spain and Italy a few hours after this, so stay tuned for that. Um, did, I, did, I, did I forget anything? So yeah, they're in the back, 5 and 3, and like I said, there's this game just popped up, Coffee vs. M-Dragon. I think M-Dragon is playing for Spain, he did lose that was this Coffee guy, so it was 5 and 4 now. And yeah, yeah, that was like the 50-50 at the end, that he, didn't, he did not force it for some reason. But yeah, they both brought, like, usually you would say Thunderous Steering is not that much seen and you would kind of consider it Heat, but uh, Thunderous got outshadowed by Masquerade on the opposing side, so you can't really call it Heat, right? The opponent had Masquerade Reps and Choice Scarf, and the Thunderous on top of that with some Berry that gives him health. Um, Tricking never showed a Z-Move on his team, right? I was thinking, I'm pretty sure he's a Z-Move on, on his Thunderous, but he couldn't use it because it was probably Gigavolt Havoc and he couldn't really use it with opposing Thunderous. But yeah, I'll see you with the all-deciding game. Um, f few hours after this, I'll upload it. Two or three hours after, I'm not sure. And thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, this was definitely like a cool game, but I don't really understand why he didn't force the 50-50 at the end. But I also don't want to question him too much. Maybe I got something wrong here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. And Dogwitch uh, signing out. Whew. Have a nice day, friends.